Hey guys, how's it going? Well today, we're going to be actually taking off the freedom panels off the Jeep. Mind you, this is Canada, it's February right now, and it's 3 degrees outside, so this should be fun. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove the panels. This is my first time that I'm going to attempt to do this, so bear with me. There might be a few glitches here and there, but uh, stay tuned. And let's see how this goes. All right, so uh, we're removing the panels. Let's begin. So the first thing you'll notice is there's a hinge right over here. There's a knob that turns over here. There is another knob that turns here and another knob that turns right over here. The trick is to start off with the driver's side. Always start off with the driver's side because there's a panel, there's a a knob that once you release this side will allow you to release the passenger side so we're starting with the left moving to the right first thing what we're gonna do is um, well there's another knob that I forgot to mention there is a round twisty knob for each side right over here so we're gonna start with that and I'm gonna turn these around it's a long screw it takes a bit of time but we'll get this all done within five minutes or less. There you go. Guys, can you see that? I know it's a little dark down here, but that's the first one. We'll leave this in the glove box. Um, nice and safe, you do not want to lose this. Okay, once this is off, we are going to twist this. Okay, we're gonna twist the other one. And we're gonna twist the one in the front here. Okay, and then, this is my first time guys. Let's see how it works. Uh, we're gonna move this visor over to the side, out of the way, and release this. And there you go. All right, so I'm gonna get out. I'm, the way to do this is, uh, I'm gonna be uh, partly in the car and partly out of the car. That's it guys, that was one. And they're pretty light, it's not that heavy. As you can see, if you look above, we got the driver's side out. And it looks awesome. I just wish it wasn't three degrees in February right now. Uh, I'm gonna move the second one. And again, what we're gonna do is we have to go to the back here and then screw this knob here to figure out which way I'm going. That's tightening it. I think it's left that you have to unscrew. Yep. There we go. It's this Jeep is fairly new. First time opening it. So it was a little tight, but now it's uh, going with ease. Just turn these guys on. Need the key for that. All right. There it is. Hope you can see it nice and clear. Back into the glove box. All right. Again, now for this side, you just have one twisty knob. I call it a twisty knob. You guys can call it whatever you want, but these are officially called the freedom panels, as mentioned earlier. So and just release that there and we are gonna get this visor out of the way okay and we're gonna release this handle there you go I'm gonna get out of the car There you go guys. And it's off. Officially. And it's officially off. A topless Jeep. Well, half topless. We just got this. Uh, I just took it out of the plastic bag. And what this is for is to keep your freedom panels in. 
keeps it nice and secure and you do not really want to scratch them. So we're going to actually put them in, in this sturdy bag. That's number one. Hey, this is the first panel. Do you need some help there? Um, I will let you know. Okay guys, what I gotta mention also, is this has a divider, so you don't scratch your panels. That's awesome, because I was actually just thinking to myself, shouldn't there be two of these? But uh, that, that's perfect. These guys actually thought it out. So uh, we'll put it in. So before I start the car, before we get outside, all I can say is, holy shit, this is awesome. Like, the whole experience. It's freaking awesome. Everything sounds so loud in here now. But, wow, I love it. Right. Are we cool. Yeah, I guess we're good to go. Um, as you drive outside, you might see me put on my uh, earmuffs and my gloves because it's freaking cold. And we're doing something crazy as shit. And I already feel the cold air. Yeah, uh, it is quite cold already uh but yeah stay tuned oh. all right guys here we are i already got the earmuffs on and i uh, got the heating on full blast but uh here it is it is freaking awesome. awesome yeah she was a little more uh, uh <laughs> cautious language wise uh i used all my french there but anyways, it's awesome. Uh, the experience, mind-blowing. Uh, look at the sky above us. It's like a convertible. I definitely gotta say it's like a convertible. I guess people are staring at us thinking, what are these guys doing in this weather? Yeah, and you might have to speak a little louder because we've got the heating on here. So, no, 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 we'll leave it on. Uh, just to show you guys what we have our temperature set at. Got the heat and the fan all full blast. Um, but yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're heading out for a casual dinner today. Yep, with my parents, yes. my family. So we're heading uh, over to, uh, to their place. We got about 20-25 mm, minutes. So we figured, let's do it. Initially, we were planning on removing this roof, uh, the freedom panels, in like early spring or summer. But the thing is, uh, come spring summer, we're gonna have uh, a special. We're gonna have two special packages with us in the back. Uh, for those watching this video for the first time, we're having twins, so we're gonna have two baby seats at the back, and we're not too sure if we want to remove the freedom panels at that time. Uh, so uh, we decided to do it now and then uh, protect our little uh, packages of joy later on. Um, yeah. So. Okay. It feels nice. I'll be honest, it feels bloody nice. You know what? It does. Actually, I've been just looking at the camera the whole time and if I actually look away from the camera, like you got the sky right above you it's nice it's nice yeah you know the wind I mean if you guys are wondering how cold it is in here um, or if there's a lot of wind I would say it's equivalent to having a sunroof but a big ass sunroof um, it, it, you, it keeps the I mean there's not much wind that's entering the front area of the cabin I'm not too sure how our passengers would actually handle it at the back. I'm not sure if they, they would, there's a lot of wind going back there. I couldn't tell you. Um, sound wise, is it really noisy? To be honest, we hear the, the sound of the heat or the heater more than the outside noise. So I haven't removed the back end of the car, uh, like, you know, the rest of the roof and the sides. 
uh, just because I'll be a, a freak doing it in February. Actually, uh, it would make a difference. I think it would. I think we would get a lot more wind. I'm not sure actually because we have our windows up at the moment. But uh, I love it. I honestly love it. Me too. I would love to drive like this in summer, but unfortunately we're going to have our little baby. Challenger, holy wow. shit! Can you try in, in five in five minutes, um, uh, it's, it's gone too far. Uh, but third Challenger in five minutes in uh, February. Black, reason, blue, and red. Yeah, the reason we're seeing a lot of challenges right now is we don't got much snow this year, and so uh, we're seeing a lot of them. And, and we go a little crazy when we see challengers, only because well, for the viewers that I haven't seen the other videos, it's because I used to own a Challenger and I miss it as hell. But the reason uh, we had to sell it is for obvious reasons. Uh, we're having twins, so uh, yeah, I had to sell it. But that's not the end of Challenger. Let's go, babes. All right, guys. So as you saw it firsthand, within I guess two to three minutes, the panels are off. It's easy, and it's well worth it. And I haven't even seen this, or haven't even felt this experience yet in uh, in the summertime because I just picked up the Jeep a couple of months ago. So uh, I'm talking mid-February in Canada, plus three degrees Celsius. We don't know what it's like with the wind chill though. Probably like zero with the wind chill and we're loving it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn on some music and uh, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the drive. And in the meantime, I am going to show you different views with the panels on. Alright guys, so I decided to scoot over to the back of the Jeep to experience and let you know exactly how it is sitting at the back with the roof, partial roof off with the freedom panels off and I must say there's not much wind. I'm not feeling any wind. My hair, which is also black, is hard to see but um, nothing, not much wind. Uh, it's fantastic. So I'm going to flip the camera around and uh, show you a different view from the back. <laughs> Baby, 